Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we're playing Chandelar again for the next 45 minutes. I'm going to take you into the world of Chandelar. This is episode six, and I'm really pumped because we are going into the Green Castle. Yes, yes. So I found a death grip, right? In the previous episode. There we go, there's the death grip. So I'm really gonna, you know, hopefully check out if I can buy something useful. Scave zombies, a plague rats, no thank you. Um, so hopefully I can just have some success in the green castle. Let's see, where is the green castle? Hmm. Okay, so I'm pretty close to the green castle. And I'm just, I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna do it. No, I don't wanna fight, I don't wanna fight. I don't want to, I just want to go into, okay, we can maybe find a card here, of course, okay, whatever. Five cards, okay, I've been there, done that. Am I closer to the green castle? Yes, I am. That is the thing with this game, you know, I really don't want to play against any of these creatures. No! Ah, dang. No, my abomination. I don't want to lose my abomination. I have to duel though. If you're so close to the to the castle, you like have to duel. Okay. He won the toss as well. Look at his life. 22 life. Check my hand. I got a swamp, a weakness, dark ritual, counter spell on the ground. See the greed, that's sweet, and the island. Okay. Let's start with the underground sea and pass the turn. So next turn, I could play out the Greed early. Or keep Counter Magic open. Mm, that is tricky. You know what? I'm going to keep Counter Magic open. I think that's good. But he's not doing anything. Okay, whatever. Let's play a Swamp and just go for the Tim. Hopefully, okay, he's not doing anything. It's, oh, he is, no, he's discarding something. That is great. That is great. Okay, I'm gonna go Dark Ritual into Greed. There we go. So Greed is really sweet, right? Because I can pay a black, pay to life, draw a card. I don't have to tap it or anything. It's an enchantment and I can use this often as I want. And now I've got to remember to ping uh, my opponent here. in the end step. Oh, he's, he's doing something. Ping the dragon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna use the greed. Gonna take two damage. Finding a mana, that's exactly what I wanted. So next turn, gonna have mana for control magic if you play something out. I do have that contract from below, but I don't want to play that out yet. Remember, contract from below is super good, but here we can see it on the screen. I do have to add another anti-card. Oh no! Um. Oh, I can counter this. Let's see, what can I do? Yeah, let's counter. Boom! Unsummon, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna... Hmm, the thing is, if I if I use it, then I don't have enough mana to and keep Counterspell open and attack with the Factory. I think I want to attack with the Factory here. Just put some pressure on. Let's cap the black. Just attack. And pause the turn. I can always draw a card on end step. Then of course he can still play like Disenchant or something, but I, I don't think he's gonna. Okay, let's first ping. Then we're gonna use the Greed. Done. Okay, finding another land, that's good. He's still discarding stuff. Finding the Death Grip. Does he even have green? You know what, I think he does. I'm gonna play the Death Grip. Okay, and then I'm going to pass turn because I want to keep counter magic open. 
I'm playing pretty conservative, but that's because it just I just really want to win this. Don't want to lose my abomination because I need abomination. Uh, I'm gonna counter this. I mean, the counter spells have been really good so far. Um, let's go change to assembly worker, pay a black, done. We're gonna attack. We're gonna pump the assembly worker. And do three points of damage. And then I can always, if I want to, use my underground C on end step to draw an extra card. Next turn, hopefully I can swing in for four. Okay, that's good. Hmm, shall I unsummon? I could unsummon. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. Ooh, another Tim. That is pretty good. Um, let's see. I think I'm first gonna attack. Let's see what he does. Hmm, does nothing. Pump the worker. Okay, um... Shall I put a weakness on? Then I can kill him with the team if I want to. Because um, if he attacks, it's gonna cost me a card, basically. I don't want that. Um, you know what I'll do? I'll play a drudge. I'll play a drudge because then I have an extra body on the battlefield and I can block the only ledge with the drudge. And then I can even kill him with the Timmy if he makes that mistake. Okay, but he doesn't. Okay. All fine by me. Scavenging ghoul. Sweet. He's on eight though. You know what? Let's just change it to assembly worker. Do that first. Let's just attack with both. See what he does. Okay, we're not gonna pump. Um, I'm gonna play. Yeah, I'm gonna play the Tim. I've got so many options. Which is a good thing. Oh, I forgot to ping. Oh, nothing happened. Um, okay. Gonna play another factory. He's on five. I think I can kill him if I unsummon. Tap in blue. Let's play unsummon first. Okay, and then we're gonna animate. Tap in black. Sure, we're gonna animate this one. Tap a black, sure. Now we're gonna attack. Done, done. I wanna, I wanna ping him to death. And now, for the Timmy ping. He's done. Look at all the cards I've won, wow. Sweet. Yeah, sure. Take the cards. Now I'm going to go into the castle. Nice green music, I guess. We're going to enter the castle. For journey enchantress in effect. Okay, sweet. I really want to beat the green wizard. Which of these spells requires one blue and zero colors mana to cast? Uh, jump. Yay, we got it correct. Okay, we can earn something. I get a Merc Dwellers. That's actually pretty good. Don't want to lose the Merc Dwellers. Like if I take this dice and there's another price or another card that's going to replace the Merc Dwellers. Ooh, wow. 
this is tough though. Ooh. You know what? I'm gonna play against the Ape Lord. I think the Ape Lord is, I don't know, easier, but I don't know. Just gonna play the Ape Lord. Ape Lord! Is life loss carried over, by the way? I hope not. Wow, an extra card straight away. That's sweet. For the Ape Lord. Okay, Island. What do I have? Never know of Disc. I got Spirit Shackles, Control Magic, and a Ghost Ship. Okay, that's actually not too bad. I should have played City of Brass, by the way. Ooh, look at how aggressive he is. I'm a little bit worried now. If life loss is carried over, I should have figured that out before. Hmm, okay. Um, let's play a swamp. You know what? I'm just going to keep it on tap because if life loss is carried over, I'm going to have a huge problem. Oh, no. Okay, it's official. I've got a huge problem. Ah, let's see, a Swamp, I'm gonna play a Spirit Shackle on the Birds of Paradise. So if he uses the Bird for mana, it's gonna be Toast. Maybe I should have played it on the Fragility Enchantress instead. Oh no, oh God, um, what can I do? I could play a Drain Life for two. I'm going to do that. I'm going to play a Drain Life on the Fijurni Chantress. Going to gain some life at least, which is good. Pass the turn. Oh man, I forgot about the, if life loss is carried over, I should have put ivory towers in the deck. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, we'll see. We'll just have to wait and see. Nevin rolls disc, I can blow up the whole board. Yeah, you go play stuff out. You know, don't worry about the disc. What can I do, I'm thinking. You know what, I'm just gonna wait. Actually, I could play an island, use the disc, then play out the ghost ship. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, it needs to make blue. The only problem here is that I'm already on 10, so I already lost four lives. What? How did he kill my ship? Did he play two of those? Oh, he played two of those. Okay, that went kind of fast. I thought he only played one. Um, wow, look at my hand. Two control magics, a double ganger, and a contract from below. I'm, I cannot do anything with this hand. It's good though, but I, do I really want to play contract from below and lose? Oh, maybe I do. Wow, this is really bad. Um, I'm going to wait one more turn. Just going to hope that he's going to play something out. Play something out, come on, a big creature. Okay, it's something. Okay, underground C, I'm gonna play control magic. Blue, a blue, two, and a swamp. Just give me the engine. I just hope he doesn't draw into more burn, you know? Oh, this is bad. This is bad, seven life. Let's see, how much mana do I have? I've got six, but I don't want to use the City of Brass. <sighs> I think I'm just gonna 
gonna do the one damage and then play the Vesuvan. Yay, two dragon engines. I'm so excited about this. I mean, I've got a good hand still, but I can play a swamp. Let's attack. Okay, let's deal some damage. Five points of damage. Pass the turn. So next turn, maybe with the Dark Ritual. Sure, kill my stuff, whatever. Or your own, actually your own Dragon Agent, that's fine. Um, let's attack people. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Activate again. Four damage. So next turn, I could maybe kill him. If he plays a creature, I'm gonna control it, so that's no problem. The only thing I'm worried about is more burn. I'm not worried about this. Island is I can control magic this. Wait, you know what I'm gonna do? Play Dark Ritual. Okay, then I'm gonna play Control Magic. Select a creature. Why didn't I change my Dragon Engine into a Crawl Worm? Why? Uh, whatever, okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna do it this way. Um, activating, tapping two. So we've got four mana in this. Okay. Hopefully I can just win the game. Hopefully life loss is not carried over. Please, please. Okay, at least winning it now. Okay, I get two life more. 16, that's good. Lots of dice. Wow, more life. Okay, bring it on. A question, which of these spells requires two red and two colorless to cast? That's a dragon weld, for sure. Hey, okay. Another question, what special ability does the dragon weld have? It has flying. Yay. The green wizard, whoa, really? Is it this easy? Okay. Even more life. If I'm gonna face the, the wizard, I wanna try to collect some more. Ooh, an abomination! That is sweet. Okay, I'm gonna attack the green wizard. I've got an abomination and a lot of extra life, so. I'm feeling good, yeah. You encounter a great druid. I want to play first, for sure. Start the duel. Oh, look at that an abomination on my side. I love it. Um, Ghost ship, Zubin double ganger, unstable mutation. Whoa, okay, I'm going to do that. Unstable, definitely, for sure. Five, nine, here we go. Another swamp. Okay, that's a bit unfortunate though. Maybe the unstable was a bit too optimistic because if I don't find blue for my Vesuvan, 
Oh no, oh no, no. Uh, another? Unstable? No, I'm not gonna go to. I'm not gonna do it. Let's see how it works. If abomination block or is blocked. Okay, so it only has to be declared as a blocker. It doesn't have to actually deal any damage, which is good with the uh, GMD tome. Man. Okay, finally, this is good. I can play my ghost ship. Let's attack. Next turn, play Fazuvan. I can clone the abomination. It is looking good. I'm gonna attack with both. I can play an unstable on my ghost ship, swing in for five. Ooh, this is a good card. Gaius Leech can start turning my lands into forests. That could be an issue. Let's play City of Brass, unstable on my ship. Tap a blue. And then I'm just gonna attack, keep the abomination at bay. So Gaius Leech is really cool. You don't see this card often anymore, but it has power toughness equal to the amount of forests. And you can tap it to turn any land, you can see it here, into a forest. And then when he attacks, uh, it's going to get power and toughness equal to the forests that I have. So it's now a 1-1 one -one if it would attack. Um, but you know what? It's not all that relevant right now. The thing that is relevant though is that if I swing in with the Abomination, he can kill the Abomination. I don't want that to happen. And of course he gains life from the living artifact. This could be problematic. Because I can still attack with the ghost ship, but because of that life gain... Hmm. Okay, this is good. Timmy is good. Let's see, if I attack now with the ship, he can make it really big. He can attack me on the crack back. That is bad. Don't have enough islands as well. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna attack with the abomination. Let's let's see what he does. Does he want to trade it for the leech? Oh wow. Okay, this is unexpected. Blocking it on the on the killer bees. That's really good for me. I was worried about the bees. Let's see. Islands. Attack with the ship. Attack with the abomination. Wow, he's not blocking. That is a big plus. Oh, he's got two living artifacts. I was like, how how can he get, get so much life? But oh, living lands. Oh no, oh no, living lands. Oh, he's doing so many cool stuff, so many cool things. Oh no. Uh, discard phase. I'm gonna kill his forests, I think. Oh God, this is really bad. He can trample over me with this forest army. Um, okay, I've got a drain life. I can play a drain life for three. I feel like I have to do it. Oh, it's just not enough though. What I could do, because living artifact, for each one damage dealt to you, put a card, remove a tail gun from living artifact, gain one life only during your upkeep. Okay, so you can only use it during my upkeep. So if I attack with Abomination and with Ghost Ship and he's not blocking, I can kill him with the Drain Life and the Timmy. It's a risk, but I'm gonna do it. Please don't block. Okay. 
Okay, so now I'm going to play Drain Life. One, two, three. Done. Select a Druid. Done. Hey, I've beaten him! Yes! You have defeated the dreaded green wizard. No longer shows evil creatures oppress the good people of Sundala! Ho oh, ho! I may take up to three green cards. That is pretty cool. Um. Oh, listen to the music. Beautiful. Defeated my first wizard, but now what should I get? Um, drop of honey is cool. That is cool. Um, you know what? Let's let's take a drop of honey. Let's. What else could we do? I could make maybe a drop of honey deck with a lot of like big, fat creatures. Oh, it's gone after you take one. Okay, fair enough. Um, <clears throat> what else? Instant natural selection. That is a cool card. It's not that good, but it's really cool. Um, and I'm gonna take. A Sylvan, because Sylvan and, and Natural Selection kind of works together quite well. Yeah! I defeated the... Duel of the Fungus Master. Hmm, sure. I defeated the, the Green Wizard. This is really good. I am so good at this game, yeah! What do I have? Uh, I've got some swamps. I think it's probably gonna kick my ass. I'm gonna go to a village and I gotta, you know, I gotta take some cards out of my deck, like a death grip. Maybe keep the abomination in there. Quite a good card. Um, Okay, I got an interesting thing to do. I could play a Nevenerald Disc. Let's do that. I'm just gonna blow up his walls. That is fine. I'm gonna use my disc to kill two Wall of Woods. And a Timmy. Oh, that, that hurts a little bit, but... Gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, I'm gonna... Kill it all, bam. And then I'm gonna play a Scavenging Ghoul. Put some pressure on my opponent. So apparently I'm quite close to the blue wizard now after defeating the green one, which is annoying. Um, hmm, this is a good card. Do I have enough to kill it with a drain life? No, I don't. I could play an unstable and attack, but that, hmm. Let's let's attack with the assembly worker, see if he blocks. Ooh yeah, this is great. Now I'm gonna pump. And I don't think he's got mana. Ooh, we can prevent the damage. But wait, 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 wait. I can play a drain life for one. Let's kill the wool! Ha <laughs> ho! Wool's down! The next turn I can attack with the ghoul. Look at the amount of... Wow, four counters on the ghoul. That is pretty sweet. Um, okay, I'm gonna play an unstable, I think, on the ghoul. Should I do that? Why not? Let's do it. Uh, tap the blue, sure. Select the creature, sure. Five, five! Then I'm gonna change these to assembly workers. I mean, I could have also played out of greed, but I'd rather do, do this, to be honest. Just put a lot of damage in. This is nine points of damage, you know? It looks like my deck's finally kind of working. You know, winning some games, beating some people. I 
think I can already win it, right? Change to assembly worker. No, not get mana. I don't want to get mana burn. Okay, I'm going to play the 10. Ooh, he's power sinking. That is so funny. Uh, yeah, I'm going to... I probably shouldn't have done that because now he's going to survive one more turn. Oh, I make so many mistakes in this game. It's hilarious. At least I can ping him to death next turn. Which is now... Let's do that. Hey, we've won a Tim, a power sink. Shield wall, that is funny. That's from Legends, right? I think originally. Take the cards. Fung the small star. Okay. Let's have a look. I'm now here. Priestess attacking Gold Snap Forge. Where is that? Gold Snap. Why is everything like so far away? Um. I guess I have to try to get there. Divine transformation, whatever. Any sorcery to win? Uh, because I want I need to play against the blue wizard. Any sorcery. No, never mind. No, I gotta go, I gotta free those people over there. Um let's see if I have anything. Lot of ruin, Mox Emerald, Thomas's Wand. Mm, I don't really want to sell these. Green, is there anything I can sell? Wow, I got a pretty good green deck, by the way. I can start a pretty good, make a pretty good green deck. Um, I could sell Sandstorm. You know, get a little bit of money. Uh, smoke. Yeah, let's sell, let's sell the red cards. I'm not gonna play with the red cards. Um, Got another Tim. Do I want another Tim in the deck though? Um, maybe one unstable less. I can play one more Tim, I guess. Mmm, buy some food. Oh yeah, this one I don't want to do because I first want to go to the Cold Snap Forge. Okay, leave village. This is so annoying. I'm gonna pay you money. Oh, I could have won a Sheevan. I'm gonna pay you. I don't want to play against you. I could have gotten a Sheevan Dragon. Oh, that's so stupid. Cosmic Horror, that's a really cool card. It's bad though, but I'm gonna buy it because it's cool. Two black amulets. No, no, no. I gotta free the village first. Okay, I gotta go up and then to the right, away from the castle. The dungeon we're gonna check later. Ooh, there's another dungeon. Buy cards, begin a quest. Harnwell Tavern, he'll reward you with a blue amulet. Sure. Do I need to go there to Harnwall? Harnwall Tavern. Oh, it's on the way. It's on the way. It's no worries. Um, I'm actually going to buy the tsunami. I'm going to buy the forest. I think I could make a pretty good green deck. Um, okay, let's check out the cemetery. What do we find? Copper tablet. Pretty sweet. I mean, I should get close to... No, 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 I don't want to battle against you guys. I should get close to the... Uh... No, what, did he? Did he? 
Cold Snap Forge. I missed it. Dang it. Evil Presence. Cool. Um, man, this is so annoying. Oh, I don't want to play against you. That's so annoying. I'm in the domain of the blue wizard, then I'm in the domain of the black wizard. I just leave me alone, you know? I'm trying to free the people of Chandelar. Ah. And now I can lose a Vesuvian Doubleganger. And my hand is terrible. And all I have is this wall of wood. What to do with an O3 wall of wood? Got a wall of wood. Ugh. Of course, another counter spell I cannot play out. This game, this game. I'm gonna, def I'm gonna defeat, I'm gonna free that village. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't care. I don't care what people say. I'm gonna go my way. But this hand is terrible. All I've got going for me is a scavenging ghoul in turn four. Oh man. Playing against a stupid dragon. Okay, greed, that's something. Shall I kill the willow? I'm gonna kill the willow, whatever. Next turn, play a scavenging ghoul. Hopefully attack with that. If that doesn't work, I play greed next turn, draw an extra card with the greed. Oh, of course, Dancing Scimitar. Sweet. Play the Swamp, Scavenging Ghoul. I mean, he can attack me. I can hit him back for two. Okay. Wow. Look at what he's doing. This is really bad. Seven damage, half my life with one attack. This game is nuts. This game is nuts. What am I? The, the thing flies. What can I do? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't. Oh, God. God. That's the thing. I sometimes just overpress the enter key and then it's like, it's the turn of your opponent. Whatever. I am so dead. I'm on four life. He's got four in the air on me. Why didn't I take out the death grip? Why didn't I do that? I'm just gonna play the abom you know the abomination. Maybe it strikes in some fear of my opponents. <sighs> dead. I'm dead. I'm losing my double ganger. Ugh. <sighs> so frustrating. <sighs> Damn it. I just feel really sad right now. Losing my double gamer. Bad. Could play Cosmic Horror though, because I've got an opening. Let's do it. Ah, uh, Death Grip. Out of here. Out of here, Death Grip. Shall I play El Ajash in my deck? I don't know. Let's play El Josh again, who cares? Um, <sighs> I'm wondering like, what's the, what's the idea of my deck? What's the bigger picture? Yes, it's black and blue, but what do I want to do? It's a bit control, it's a bit aggro, it's like a mix of all these styles. You know what, I'm gonna next, next episode, episode seven, I'm gonna like rearrange my deck or whatever. Maybe start playing with green as well. I've got a lot of green cards. Um, whatever, 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 whatever. Okay, I'm gonna go and free Cold Snap Forge. So I just have to go down. I gotta play the Vampire Lord. Um, he takes a mulligan. Do I wanna take a mulligan? I've got an island, a swamp, a tin. You know what? I'm gonna start the duel. 
I don't want to take a mulligan. All I need is one more land, and I have a pretty good hand. Preferably blue. Island. Pass. I can't believe I lost a Vesuvan double ganger. That is just ah, such a cool card. And good as well in this game. Uh, let's play the Drudge. I really need a land next turn. I need a land. Give me a land, please. I want to play Timmy. Okay, he's attacking, not pumping the bats. I guess that's good. Or does he want to use the five mana for a Sengir Vampire? Don't do that, please. Also bad, Sorcerer's Queen. Oh, Howling Mine, that's good. Thank you for the mine. Okay, I could go Dark Ritual. Ooh, and I could play Spirit Shackles. What I'll do is Dark Ritual into the Tim. I think the Tim is just really good. I could also play Greed and try to draw into... No, I'm going to do the Tim. Does mean Mana Burn? I know, it means Mana Burn. I know. Let's attack. Ooh, he trades. Sure. Okay, so I'm gonna play a City of Brass and I'm gonna play a Wall of Air. Okay, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna kill the Drudge because he doesn't have black open. Now I'm feeling good now. Uncle Istvan, that's a cool card. I made a really cool EDH deck with the, uh, with the uncle, which is on the channel, so it's really sweet. I'll have a link, link pop up somewhere. You can check it out if you want to. Um, okay, some more mana, what shall I do? Um, the thing is, I can play a Drudge, but it doesn't really help or El Josh with an Uncle Istvan on the board, so I'm going to go for Greed and just uh, pass turn. I can ping him for one, put him on 12, block with the Wall of Air. Well, of course, yeah, kill my Timmy. Triggered effects, graveyard order, there's nothing I can do. Let's block the uncle. Uncle Istvan with the lure is pretty sweet. Ooh, another howling mine, sure. Oh, look at that, cosmic horror. I so want to cast a horror, that would be so cool. Um. First things first though, I think I'm gonna steal the Uncle Istvan. Or do Water Elemental, then steal the Istvan next turn. It's probably better. Let's do that. Let's go in that order. I just need one more mana. I can cast Cosmic Horror. That would be really cool. Oh man, that's annoying. Maybe I should not steal the Sorcerer's Queen. Hmm, this is tough. Another Sorcerer's Queen. Awesome. Okay, that's good. The weakness is really good. Uh, let's go. Let's play... Let's first attack. Let's see what he does. Let's first attack. Maybe he's going to trade a Queen. Okay, sure. Doesn't do it. Whatever. Uh, Cosmic Horror. On the queen. Queen is dead. Uh, let's steal the other queen. I probably should have killed the O1 Sorcerer's Queen and control magic the 1 1, but whatever. Okay, he's attacking. That's an interesting choice. Could have also played Spirit Shackles on the Sorcerer's Queen. Hmm, could have done a lot of things better now looking at it. Ooh, wow. Now that is a card you want to control magic. You can make it an O2 anyway, so it doesn't matter. 
Uh, I'm going to attack. If he blocks, I'm going to make it into an O2. Ah, this is perfect. Um, what am I going to do next? Play a Swamp? I've got so many options. You know what? I'm going to play Cosmic Horror. Or should I? If I do, though... Oh, if I do, he can just block it with the Uncle Ist Fund. It's, like, horrible. Um... Hmm. If I put a spirit shackle on there, do you think he's going to attack? That's a big question. Maybe he is. I'm just going to try. I'm going to play a tin. You know what? I'm just, you know, I'm drawing tons of cards anyway. Look at that. He is attacking. That is sweet. Now I can kill it with the Tim and I can play Cosmic Horror. Ooh, that's so cool. Oh, let me cast Cosmic Horror and attack with Cosmic Horror. That will be super sweet. It's one of those cards. I actually have one in my binder. Um, but yeah, when do you play the card? You know, that's the tough thing. Okay. Wow, look at all those cards. Okay, first things first. I'm going to kill the Uncle this one. Uh, and I feel like I have to control magic first and then play Cosmic Horror. I want to play Cosmic... I don't want to... I'm going to play Cosmic Horror. Who cares? Yeah, I got Cosmic Horror on the board. Sweet. An attack. He has to block anyway, and then next turn, I can kill him with the horror. That is a dream. Select a card to discard. Um. What should I discard? Let's do this. Maybe sounds strange, but I'm gonna discard a counter spell. What I've got nine in hand. Okay, discard Elijah. Discard Mer Dwellers. Uncle Isvan's dead. Uh, fast effects, blockers done. Oh, he attacked with Uncle Isvan. That's stupid. That is not smart. This is really funny. I have no idea what he's doing. He's just playing a lot of creatures, which I actually love because it means he's going to try to block my Cosmic Horror, which is cool. I'm going to pay the upkeep cost. Pay the cost. Done. All I want to do is attack with Cosmic Horror. Let's go. Woo! I've attacked with the horror. That's so sweet. Um, do I want to play anything out? You know what? I'm going to finish this game. I'm going to play Drain Life. I'm going to cast a Dark Ritual. Play a Drain Life for one. I'm going to kill the Vampire Lord. Hey, look at all the cards. I gotta dig all the cards. Let's go into the ship. Which cards do you seek? Uh, I'm seeking a lot of cards. One element of C for two amulets. What other cards do I want? Um... I mean, in black, I could, I would love to have, let's see, the Sengir Vampire. Yep, I'll trade. I'll trade, so we've got two Sengirs, which is pretty good. I just need to have a new look at my deck, right? I feel like my deck 
it misses a bit of a theme. Hey, so I got some singular vampires. I should have three singular vampires in there. Wow. Take this one out. Um, I'm going to take the murder dwellers out. I'm going to actually add a dark ritual. I feel like dark rituals get better if you have all these five drops in the deck, right? Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to free... I'm gonna, okay, okay, I'm gonna go in here. I have to check it out. Ooh, the hive. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's attack. Duel the creature. Why am I starting on seven life? What did I do? What, why? What happened? What? What is this for nonsense? He's starting with a war elephant. I'm on seven life. I don't understand this game. I had like 14 life, right? Why am I on seven? Oh man. He's gonna put me on three next turn or she. That's a big problem. What, what do I have for anti? My, my contract from below and another card. Dark ritual, I think. Oh, I'm so gonna, I'm so gonna die. God. Now I have to jump with my Sephir. I wonder if she's gonna attack in a band. Eh, she's not attacking, that is a good sign. I'm mm, gonna play Wall of Air. Ooh, that is really good of all sorts. Um, I could put a weakness on the wall. Don't think it's really going to help much, though. I can put a weakness on attack with a 4-4, four, four, and she can block in a band. Mm, you know, I'm going to do that. I always like, you know, to do something that there's a bit of action. It's not always good in magic, you know, a lot of times it's better to just wait, but eh, it's pretty good. I like, like, action. Fortified area. Man, that is cool. I respect you for playing that card. I respect that. That is a cool card. Mm, ooh, I can steal something. Let me first... Attack, and I think I can endrain life. Yeah. Exactly. I'm going to drain life. Ha ha. Killing the wall. I'm so good. I'm on five. She's on six. I'm going to drop the same gear next turn. It's really a banding army. That is a little intimidating, but whatever. If she bands everything together, I could just block it on my wall of air and move on with my life. You know, I've got new problems with that. This is really good. I'm going to attack. Hey, and we've got a counter on the Sengir. That is so nice. My brother used to play Netling Imp, Sorcerer's Queen, Sengir Vampire all together. Ooh, gonna counter the Spirit Link. Ha ha, no way. Gonna free the village. And I think I'm looking at the clock uh, that after this match, by the way, I'm gonna stop for today. It's been a... It's been good so far. Let's hope I can win this one to give it a good finish. I haven't won yet. I can put her on one. Let's play my Abomination. 
And I think next week, like I said, I think I'm going to kind of think about my deck. What, I want, what do I want to do? Um, you know, blue, black, what do I want to play? Oh, gaining life. No, don't do that. This is so annoying. Mm, how does Spirit Link work again? In my memory, the way Spirit Link works, but I could be wrong, is you first take the damage and then you gain the life. But I think you're playing according to the old rules, right? Exactly, yeah. That's what I was a little bit afraid of, so... She's not dead yet. Maybe I was too optimistic talking about next week already, you know? That's kind of jinxing it, isn't it? Let's just... I'm just gonna keep attacking with the vampire, I don't care. Oh, forgetting to regenerate, really? I'm so stupid. Well, actually, I'm not stupid, I'm sloppy. And this game doesn't, you know, accept sloppy. If you pressed on enter, you, you know, you missed your opportunity. got a disc you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna control magic that elephant because who doesn't want to have a war elephant on their side of the battlefield then I'm gonna attack with my abomination and I'm gonna call it a day no healing solve that is hilarious I, I thought I would have I thought I killed her like an hour ago and she's still alive this game is so funny but elder landworm are you kidding me are you kidding me Elder Landworm is hilarious. So it cannot attack until it has been assigned as a blocker. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to attack. One, two, three, four, number five over here. Oh, man. It's really cool, by the way. Uh, you can Elder Landworm uh, is considered a wall, so it works with Fortified Area because it has Defender, right? So you can now combine Fortified Area, area with Elder Landworm in your decks. Don't tell anybody. It'll be our secret, but it works. Um, it's gonna attack separate? Am I finally gonna beat her? Yeah! I freed the people! Ooh, lots of nice cards. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna save the game. Let's check where I am. Gold Snap Forge. Okay, so next time, I think I'm gonna go into the White Castle. Maybe I need to get some anti-white stuff first. There are a lot of anti-black cards, like black cards that are anti-white, so maybe I should start to collect that stuff. Um, let's just save it one more time, just to be on the safe side. For now, uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to think about what I want to do with my deck, and uh, I'm going to see if I can get some anti-white cards, and then go into the white castle next time. Uh, that's it for today. I think it was a good episode. We beat the green wizard, right? I lost the Vesuvian doubleganger. That was definitely a downer. But, uh, you know, overall, it was a good episode, so I'm happy. Anyway, um, before you go, please leave a like, uh, leave a comment, share this on your socials if you enjoy the episodes that I'm making, and please consider becoming a patron because that's a way uh, that you can support my channel financially as well so you can help me to continue making this kind of content for you guys. Check out patreon.com slash timmytalks, and uh, you can find out how you can sponsor the show. Talking about sponsors of the show, let's go! To the end scroll. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor?
Let us think it is Sumba Kazi. 